All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today I'm doing the rest of my makeup collection. So we're going to be right here. What's pictured are like single eyeshadows, pigments, eyeliners, mascaras, eyebrow stuff, and eye primer. And then we're also going to be moving on to all things lip as well. If you want to check out my other videos, they are up. I will link them. And yeah, I asked you all if you wanted it and you guys said you wanted this. So also a disclaimer, as always, so I am doing this because it was, re one, it was requested, <laughs> but also um, I'm doing this because I like watching collection videos. So I figure someone else out there would like to see some collection videos as well. And um, yeah, this is just not me trying to show off. It's just for all you nosy people out there like me who like to spy on other people's collections. Um, this is my collection. Uh, let's go ahead and start with kind of the boring stuff and I'll move to the exciting stuff. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with mascara. So these are mascaras that are unopened. I have one of these opened already. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and it's also a sample size. I am liking it so far. Um, I got this as a sample, so you know, it is what it is. I don't know how the full size works. I know sometimes there's a bit of a difference. This is the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. Again, haven't spoken to this because I received this from my mom. She had extras and yeah, just took it. And then this is the Lash Star Full Control Mascara. And this side, I believe, is like a really fat one. And this is like a nice skinny one. They're both like the same color to black. And again, I haven't used any of these yet. Well, except for this one. I'm currently using another sample of this. But I haven't used the other two yet, so I don't really have a review for you. And these are constantly changing. I usually will try and buy from the drugstore. The only time that I have like high-end mascaras that are like full size is if I get them from BoxyCharm or they're handed down to me like for my mom, these two are for my mom, or um, sample sizes because they come free. So we also have the brow products over here. I'm currently using this Winky Luxe brow product. I actually have already used it, a full one of these. My mom had BoxyCharm, I had BoxyCharm, and she doesn't use brow products so she passed it on to me. This is the Brow Gal by Tonya Crooks, Tonya Crooks, and there we go. I have some pan in there, look at that. Um, I've had pan in there for a while. I use it every day, I use both of these together. Uh, this is a little too warm for me, this is a little too dark, so mixing them together helps a bit. Um, can't wait for that one, because that one's actually probably my perfect shade. So yeah, I'm. this is gonna be around for a while. The packaging broke, so I had to you know, jerry-rig taping it. These are It Cosmetics Brow Power, super skinny, and I believe they're in Universal Blonde. So yeah, they're really tiny. They have spool spoolies at the end. Um, again, something that my mom had. She doesn't use brow products, so. And then I did purchase this Benefit Gimme Brow. I used to use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, um, but I decided to do this to see. Um, I really do like this. What shade is this in? It doesn't say, but I have a feeling it's like, I think I bought this in like blonde or light brown, one of the two. But yeah, cause I do like my, I'm blonde, but I like my brows darker. And then this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the original. I bought this in the two set at Christmas time, I think last year actually. So I actually have another one of these not opened, but I don't want to bring it up here and get it confused. So um, just know that there are two of these. This is the first time me using it with like the wand. The other times I had it with where it was a squeezy tube. And I like the squeezy tube, I think a little bit better just because I feel like I don't know how... I don't know. I don't know how much I'm getting. However, the squeezy tube, I also feel like you would get too much product than needed. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to this yet. Also, it feels weird like putting it on my eye and then putting it back in here. Bacteria? I'm not sure. Anyways, <laughs> so I have these two. These are my eyeliners. These two eyeliners over here are what I'm actually project panning. This is the Jessica Livingskine Vintage Smoky Eye Pencil in Jet Black. I really like this, very creamy. And it's actually been around for a minute in my collection, unused, and it's still really creamy, which is good. This is the Makeup Forever the Blue Eyeshadow or Eyeliner. And it just says number 124, so I'm not quite sure. This was creamy um, in the very beginning. It's not as creamy anymore. I do have to work it a little bit, but it's also a bit older. And I, this is like a sample. It started as a sample size, still a sample size. So yeah, um, but that's also my project pan. I also have this, this is fairly old. I use this in my waterline every single day um, or try to remember to do it every single day. This is the Lancome eyeliner in, I think it's Blanc, but it, it's their white eyeliner. And then I have these two blue eyeliners, again, I got them from my mom. This is MAC and Hyacinth. 
And then I have this No Tug It Cosmetic and this is in navy. So this one is the It Cosmetics. So this is navy, supposed to be navy, and that's high, high scent. This one's a little bit lighter, but this one is more navy, just almost, almost blue, basically black. And then we have these two over here as well. And these are like, I think brown. Yeah, this is a smoky brown from Clinique. And I'll go ahead and swatch this one. This one's on its last legs for sure. And this is Duck from MAC. There we go. This one's actually still pretty creamy. And all of these, I'm pretty sure, are fairly on the older side. Um, these were all decluttered slash given to me from my mom. So I don't know how long she's had it, but they're on the older side. This is a Butter London Stroke of Wow eyeliner. I think it's like the one that has like the pizza roll in it. I haven't opened it yet, but I got this from Boxycharm a while ago. We'll see when I open it. Hopefully it's not completely dried up and I can actually test it out. I don't know. I've never used, I don't, I'm not a fan of liquid liner for my top lash line. I just feel like I don't have control, but we'll see how this works. I'm not sure. I've never used it before. I'll definitely be opening this after vintage because I think that's the only like black liner I have left, which I actually don't mind having brown liners. Okay, on to single shadow and pigment category. So we'll go ahead and go over here to my single shadow area. This is a eyeshadow palette type thing. I think I showed this last time. It's a bit dirty, sorry about that. But this is one that I'm project panning. It's a MAC eyeshadow. I believe it's called Camel, but I'm not 100% sure. But either way, it's like a camel color. I'm using it to set my eyeshadow primer. It does have a little bit of pigment to it still, but I mean, obviously. But um, I don't really mind. And then these two are actually Makeup Greek. Makeup Greek. Makeup Geek um, from BoxyCharm. And again, my mom had BoxyCharm and she has those as well. So these two are the same as these. These are my old ones. These are my mom's that decluttered onto me. I believe this is Beaches and Cream. Yeah, Beaches and Cream and then Glamorous. So Beaches and Cream and then Glamorous. I have a lot to work through for them and that's fine. They're both pretty neutral shades. This I'm gonna use, as soon as this is done, I'm gonna use this for setting my eyeshadow primer and then I'll go ahead and bring this in. And then, you know, we'll get through Glamorous when we do. And then this was a free Natasha Denona shadow from as like a beauty offer from Sephora. So yeah, I can't remember what the shade name is. I don't think it's on the back. Yeah, it's not on the back, but it's a red shade. Um, pretty ruby red. This I believe is from the Balm. I don't remember what it was called, but it was like a little uh, sample from Ipsy a long time ago. I don't remember what this one was at all. These two I know are from... Uh, from MAC. This is black tie and I don't remember what this one is, but it's a navy blue. All right, on to ColourPop. So ColourPop, I have these single shadows. This is technically technically a highlighter, but I'm going to use that as a single shadow because it's too dark for me for highlighter. It might be, um, but yeah, I do love their Super Shock sh shadow range. I feel like a lot of people, it, they were the craze and then all of a sudden people decide they didn't like them anymore and I'm confused because I still like them. <laughs> but that's just me. This is an arrow. This one does have pan in it. Yay. It has like a bit of a shift to it. It turns from like a pinky red to a orange, which is really pretty. This one is in La La and it's kind of like a nice neutrally, well, there we go, neutrally shade. And this is in Partridge. And again, this has a bit of a shift to it. It's like a green red maybe or green brown, but um, this one is in my Pan and Everything project pan. So, yeah, I had another one that actually just today broke, and it was called Cusp. And, yeah, I trashed it because it fell onto my pant and then onto my bed. And because I'm putting it on my eye, I don't want to deal with it. It was getting old anyway, so I just went ahead and tossed it. But it was like a seafoam green that had, like, um, a lot of glitter to it and not much actual base pigment. So yeah, I kind of was using that as like a topper shade on top of Partridge anyways. And yeah, anyways, so <laughs> that's a bummer, but it's fine. I do want to, when my collection gets smaller so many years from now, hopefully sooner than years, but whatever. Anywho, once it gets smaller, I do want to go ahead and get more of these because I do love them. I do really like them. So I've actually panned three Super Shock Shadows completely like from start to finish. And they were the Kathleen, I think it was just called Kathleen Lights, and it was like a gold shade. Sequin, which was a pinky shade. It was almost like this color, however, without the shift, um, like a cranberry shade. And I used that with my Modern Renaissance palette and then Millionaire. And Millionaire, I really liked this well. It had like lots of, it was like brown with like multi-colored glitters in it, reminiscing. Okay, so now I have this Inspire um, 
eyeshadow. It's a single in Carnival. And I just love this. I had this in my Nightmare Before Christmas project pan this last year. And I like didn't realize how much I freaking loved it. It's just like a plain taupe that like seems unremarkable, but it's beautiful on the eye. And then I have this vintage um, by Jessica Liebenskind. And this is in crystal pink. And yeah, there it is. <laughs> Not sure if this is just like yeah, this is an illuminating face highlighter that was just a mini, but I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. And then I have Urban Decay Scratch, which is a pink. It looks more like satin than shimmer. Haven't quite used it yet. And then I have this Becca in Rose Gold. It's a shimmering skin perfector. So again, I think this is supposed to be a highlight, but this is too deep for a highlight. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use it as an eyeshadow. I have this MAC Single Eyeshadow. Well, it's like two eyeshadows, but it's in a single pan. And the, I think the first, the top one is Illusionary. And then the bottom is Burning Ambition. So Illusionary, Bonding, and, in, whoa. Illusionary, Burning Ambition. And it's a brown with a light gold. This I was using for an inner corner highlight. And look, I have a little bit of pan, which is very exciting. So I'm, I'm like happy with this section because I feel like I am. I do have some things with like lots of pan in it. And then we have this cover effect shimmer veil in amethyst. And I love this. this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Um, this is going into a project pan soon for sure because I just love it. And it's like has lots of pigment, no fallout. It's just beautiful. And then I have, this was a sample from Laura Mercier. Oh, this is again an amethyst. Interesting. It's their her caviar stick. Let's swatch it. So yeah, I don't know why it's called amethyst. <laughs> it's just a brown with like some taupey shimmer, so silvery taupe shimmer in it. It's pretty though. And then these again were decl decluttered for my mom. They're Edward Bess. And this one is Aura. Or Aura. It's kind of a dirty gold. And then this one is Ambience. And this, I don't know if you can actually see it very well, but it has more of like a peachy color to it. And I think that I'm almost saying that they're supposed to be highlighters, but again, too dark on me. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it as eyeshadow. And yeah, those are all my single shadows with the cream and all of that and normal shadows and then onto a pigment. So I have a few random pigments like this is Shanting. This was like a sample size. I believe it's from MAC, but it's this color. This one's actually in my Project 50 pan. I've hardly used it. It's a random shade. I don't have the name of it. I know it's from MAC. I had a friend whose sister worked at MAC, so she would give us a lot of like free stuff, like little samples and everything. Yeah, this is just like a deep bronze with lots of gold specks in it. So this actually, I it's this, but I put it in here. I believe it's this one here. Yeah. And this is in helium. And then I have these two over here. So these had shades in them before, but I've used them up. And I don't know what color this is, but this is kind of like a brown. I don't know how else to say it. Like a light brown. I don't know, with a shimmer in it. And this is a gray. And I actually think that this gray is this one, which is Sweet Sienna. So again, kind of in here, I think just to make it easier. I can't remember if I like, if it's actually from this one or not. But And then I have this one, and this is Pink Pearl, and this has a shift to it. And this one looks like I've used a lot, but honestly, I've just shared it with my friends a lot because everyone's like, enticed by this color so I just give them like little samples which is fine with me because I cannot get through a whole one of these like let alone this color it's absolutely insane this is the classic blue brown I need to use this way more because honestly it's so pretty but yeah just need to use this this one is a matte color and this is actually in bloodline and it's just a deep brown matte color and then this one is in sparkle copper sparkle and this one is crazy pigmented and because I have blue eyes like it just makes my eyes pop so much because of it's like an orange color so pretty this is kitsch miss and it's like a pink with silver sparkle through it again really pretty I love this one this one was in my eight days a week project pan a while ago and it is sun pepper oh my gosh this is so pretty it's like a red with like a green shift maybe or like yeah, I guess like kind of a green shift. I don't know. It is just, it's hard to explain, but it looks so beautiful, especially on the eyes. You can't even tell in here, but 
Um, actually, I do think I have a bit of this gone, so that's exciting. Okay, next we have over here, this is Lily White. It's like a tan with kind of a pinky color to it. And then I have this one in navel blue. Not quite a navy blue, a little bit lighter than that, but you know, that depth to it. And then this is Dazzle Ray, kind of like a tan pigment. I know it's not tan by MAC, but it's almost a tan pigment. And then this is Soft Wash Gray. So yeah, this is kind of a gray, but also with lots of blue in it too. Okay, so single eyeshadows, all the eyes, and next on to lips, we're gonna do liquid lipsticks, regular lipsticks, lip glosses, lip liners, and I believe that's it. All right, all of my lip things. So again, a lot, too much for me, for sure. So currently, I also have these in my hand. These are <laughs> my ones that I'm project panning. So I have a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. My lip liner is Lord & Berry. It is in, it's just nude lip liner. It says number 3035, and it's just a brown, brown lip liner. You know, nice. I have it paired with this Estee Lauder, no, yeah, Estee Lauder Sugar Honey Shimmer. Kind of a metallic shimmery, kind of like sheer, or at least it can sheer out tan color and then this is a buxom lip gloss and dolly i'm not gonna swatch the lip gloss i really i really like buxom i just realized that because it was like i think it was my first time trying it um and yeah freaking love it who would have thunk i also this past project pan i also um or update i introduced these into my project 50 pan as well these are all mini lip glosses introduce lightly meaning after i'm done with buxom i will go ahead and go through these so the lip gloss is here i think i've only opened up this one other than that everything else is not opened up so i've never tried them i can't give you a review unfortunately but this is the lip maximizer collagen active i think this is christian dior but it's a little mini sample this is the tardis lip glossy lip paint from tarte in minx and then this is the dandelion from benefit lip gloss hopefully by the end of the year we'll have at least three so dolly and then these two out of my collection i think this one even though it's like a sample size these this package seems to be pretty big so hopefully those three will be out sooner rather than later so then we have these other lip glosses this one is from victoria's secret it's a minty lip gloss and it's peppermint it's just it's sheer it doesn't have a color to it well, maybe a light color but not really not really a color not on the lips not really okay this is bare minerals yes and it is in the shade must have so yeah mauve and then another milani this is in a more shine liquid lip color oh maybe this is a liquid lipstick i'm not quite sure i think it's a i thought it was a gloss i was decluttered this um this was decluttered onto me by someone so i don't see a name on here but we have the Laura Geller Color Lucker Luster <laughs> Lip Gloss in Honey Caramel. It has some micro glitters in there. And then we have the Tardis Lip Paint. I think again, though, I think this is a gloss. And this is in, this does not have a shade name. It doesn't, I don't see one, at least. So yeah, again, decluttered onto me. So we'll see about those. I'm not sure. Maybe I open it up and this is a liquid lipstick. I actually have no idea. So yeah. Well, let's go on to my liquid lipsticks. These ones I do know are liquid lipsticks. I have two Ofra lip liquid lipsticks in Tuscany and Verona. These are really the only two liquid lipsticks, or this Ofra is the only liquid lipstick that I actually don't hate. <laughs> and I say that lightly. I hate liquid lipsticks. These ones are comfortable, so that's good, but they don't have the lasting power. I really don't care about the lasting power that much as long as it doesn't fade into like a weird color. I had a liquid li matte liquid lipstick from Colorbox. Colourpop that did that or I think it was their satin formula that did that and it was just the worst um so yeah not great and then this is a Kylie liquid lipstick it's one of her metal ones in air um might be decluttering that soon I feel like this is, is gonna get old um and then this is in pretty vulgar it's my lips are sealed again kind of I think this is yeah I think this is metallic and then this is Huda bit Huda Huda bit oh my gosh Huda beauty liquid matte Again, this was decluttered onto me, and this is in Bombshell. I'm not sure. I heard that hers are really, really drying, so we'll see. Maybe I'll... I don't know. The whole point, like, hopefully I can use these at least with lip glosses or something. Um, we'll see. 
Okay, we have our lip liners. So these three are from ColourPop and we have it in Bound, which is a mauve color. This one's a bit deeper mauve and it is in Brink. And then this is a really, really light color. I don't know why I got this in Skimpy. Yeah, in Skimpy. And then I have this Jante Blue lip liner in 955, 955 Spice and it's a deeper color. So that's good, I guess. <laughs> and then we have my MAC ones. Um, this one is the wooden pencil one. This is the only wooden pencil I have, and this is in burgundy. Literally got this because Bethany Moda, I think. Yeah, Bethany Moda, right? That's her name. Wow, that's been a long time, but she suggested this, and I was like, oh, got it. I'm gonna go grab it. And then we have Posy Perfect. This is More to Love. This is Morning Coffee. I love this color. Good timing. It's a cool tone pink and almost like a blue, blue pink. Um, and this is nice and spicy. Again, I really like this one. I like the brown, um toned ones like the ones that give you the 90s lip i'm down with that <laughs> okay these are my miscellaneous lipstick categories so i have one from covergirl and this is in 010 i'm not sure but it's a definitely a shiny one metallic kind of coral color peach more peach not coral okay and this is a sample from clinique it is in bubblegum pop Another, this was like a gift with purchase from Clinique, and it's in matte petal. Very similar coloring, honestly. This is NARS Jungle Red. I think this is my only red right now, which is kind of wild. Although I don't think I need more than one red, honestly. This is a Japanese color in, I think it's on the inside. It just says 08, but it's like a burgundy type, but it actually doesn't come out this, that dark. Like it feels more berry than like burgundy even though in the tube it looks more burgundy. And then I have two mini bite lipsticks in Chai. I think this one's gonna be going into Project Pan soon. And then this one is Fig. And this is just a bit lighter of a color. Up here we have all my lip crayons. So again, we have one from NARS and this is in Bad Girl. And it's got this mauve type pink color. Obviously, mauve, pink, and brown is, like, where it's at for me. <laughs> That's, like, where my love lies. And then this is in Glace by Bite Beauty. Kind of another crayon. Another mauve. <laughs> Various tones of mauve, basically. And then we have our Tarte Lip Lingerie, um, Lippy Lingeries. So, this one is in Enchanting. I think this one was, again in my Nightmare Before Christmas project pan. I have Desire, a bit deeper, meaning a lot deeper. Lacy, more tan, enticing, definitely berry. And then Delight, definitely more tan. And then last but not least, all of my MAC lipsticks. So also I'm missing one of my MAC lipsticks. I'm pretty sure while I was moving, things happen because I basically moved down to my mom's house for quarantine and I was living in San Francisco. I moved down to uh, SoCal and I left all my stuff up there and then we saw it was permanent. I got out of school, graduated. And so I was like, okay, I had to go back up, move all my stuff. And somewhere in there, I don't know if I brought it down with me originally or if it was lost in packing up there, not sure. But anyways, I was, I did have cream cup and I actually love a cream cup. I have used a whole cream cup um, and then I rebought it by accident because I just loved the color so much. It was before, like, I actually was super into makeup. So, yeah, I stand by cream cup, and I'm like, okay, I need another cream cup. Um, but also I don't. Like, I have plenty. But in the future, I will definitely repurchase when things go down. So this is the matte. This is their new powder formula. It's sexy but sweet. Looks really pretty. I haven't worn it on the lips, like, all day to see how it feels and all that. But that is a newer one to my collection. And then I have Blankety. A tan color. This one is Whirl. This one's really pretty. And this actually looks really pretty on deeper skin tones as well. My friend who is much deeper skin toned than me, she was like, yeah, she borrowed that one and it looked so beautiful on her. This is Girl About Town, nice and bright. This one is going to be for my next five uses project. This is the one I'm going to wear. You all suggested that one. So that's what I'm going to do for five uses. And then this is Retro. It's like a reddish color like a burnt red and then honey love honey love's like darker than myth where's myth myth will come up soon um it's like more wearable type of myth i think and then this is coral bliss 
I got this because Emily Fox <laughs> suggested it and it looks pretty. It's more sheer though. Not my normal <laughs> color for sure. This is Brave. This is definitely more pink tone than I was thinking. And then this is Myth finally. Yeah, so Myth and then this one is, oh not this one. Not that one at all. Honey Love. So yeah, Myth is like concealer lips. This is like not your lips a bit better, but a version of myth that's like fine, at least on my skin tone. <laughs> like this one is, I have to mix, you have to mix it. And that's my lip collection. Can you believe it? There we go. That was everything. Um, I'm thinking about possibly swatching all of my lipsticks one day, <laughs> but I'm also like, eh, do I want to? Let me know if, if you all want me to do it. Maybe I will. No promises. I'm like, it's just a lot. And like, what are you going to see from my collection that you haven't already seen from everyone else? But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, that's it for my video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you all have tried things. If you love things, if you have opinions on the things that I have, or if you hear me say something and you're like, hey, you should get this one day. Probably won't get it for a very long time, but thank you for the suggestion. I would love to hear it. <laughs> um, other than that, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.